all you zealous and zerglings, it's time for a special treat for you. This is the very first game of the Three West Classic. This is just a little tournament that I threw together with my buddies that uh, we're going to be playing through. I'll be a contestant too by request. So uh, let's have some fun. It's, it's broken up into two stages. This first stage is just round robin where all the different players will play each other in a best of three. Where game one will always be on Zelnaga Caverns, as you can see here. And then this will set up the seating for the bracket play, which will be stage two. But that's a little ways down the road. This is just game one, as we can see, between Spartan and Contrarian. As soon as we get it all loaded up. And, well, it looks like it's time to time to get started. So this is game one, Zelnaga Caverns. And we have the green Protoss Contrarian spawning up here in the uh, northeast corner. And his opponent is Spartan, the Red Terran. Now these will be their races for the entire tournament. They were selected ahead of time. And uh, the explanation is they'll play, this is like I said, all the game ones will be played on Zelnaga Caverns for each of the uh, Round Robin series. And the loser of this game will get to pick the map for the next game out of a, a specific map pool. And actually, whoa, we can get the uh, name tab up there. And we'll throw up the production tab. And it looks like Spartan's going to get down his first supply depot. We got a uh, high line here for Contrarian. It's going to be a bit slow going. I probably could have started the intro a little bit later into the loading screen, but... I really had no idea how much I was going to have to say, so so I didn't really uh didn't really want to have something action happening while I uh, while I was trying to explain things. But we are going to have a scout now here for Contrarian, and if you're curious, this is going to be a six-player tournament. So these are the two of the players. I, of course, am one of them, and then we have three other players who will be in later games. Oh, we have the first barracks here for Spartan. Uh, those three players will be Dunamai. Who will be uh, playing as uh, Zerg? Uh, Mike, who will be playing as Protoss, and Wolfpack, who will also be playing as Protoss. So that's just a quick review of the players, and Katrain is going to scout this. Oh, he's going to harass that SCV. Oh, you got to bring that SCV out. Bring that SCV out there to defend him. You don't want to lose that SCV. And yet he is going to defend. That's good. What do we got going here for Contrarian? He's got a gateway coming up. He's putting up a wall. Not necessarily uh, required with the Terran, especially when you get Marauders. It could be a bit dangerous, but still doable. I don't know what all the pros do. Oh, and going for a two racks here, which usually is indicative of some pressure. But we'll, we'll see what he does with it. His first barracks is done. Oh, queuing up two Marines. No, no, that's a waste of money. See. He could be. He needs to be getting his orbital. Oh, and he's got SCVs queued up too. He needs to be getting his orbital right now. If he dropped that SCV and that marine, he would have enough. Oh, he would have enough to start getting his orbital command. But that is uh, not the route he's going to go. And oh, so we got another scout for Contrarian. He's not quite content with what he saw the first time. No unit production yet for him. But if he's got a scout out there, that's okay. He's going to get a cybernetics core now. Not quite finishing the wall off. Oh, sneaky contrarian is going to throw down a proxy pile in here behind this uh, hidden grass. I mean, the thing about Zelnaga Cavern, it's pretty easy to defend wrap in your main, but you're, you're natural. You've got this wide gap to defend, this wide gap to defend. You can break down the rocks here and attack this way, or go down here to get your third, or you can come here through the back door. So there's a lot of attack paths to your natural expansion. And looks like we do have the orbital command coming down now for Spartan. And a bit supply blocked. So I hope he corrects that soon. He doesn't have any well okay, he doesn't have any marines queued up, so he's got some got some marines out now. He's falling a little bit behind in supply. Although I don't know how many units. Okay, we're getting a stalker out here now for contrarian. We checked the uh what is the worker count? Twenty-two probes to sixteen SCVs, so Spartan's falling a bit behind. He really needs I'd almost say, oh, uh, he doesn't really have the, oh, he doesn't have the money for it. Say, throw down another command center so he can get some SCV production going, because he is falling quickly behind. And now he's on three racks, which is a really aggressive build, and if he wants to do that, he really needs to move out quickly, because if he doesn't move out now, he's going to be in a bit trouble. And we got uh, another gate, two more gateways coming up for Contrarian, and 
Once these get up and his warp gate technology is finished, he can start really pumping out the units. And it looks like he's... Oh, no, he didn't even take the watchtower. He should have swung by the watchtower to see what was going on. Oh, we do have a move out here for Spartan. Oh, and I don't think the stalker's going to see it. But it will have free run of the base if, he, if if Spartan's not careful. He almost needs to get a bunker out just just in case so he can dump his Marines in there. Looks like Contrarian is checking for the expansion, but these Marines are moving out. And what does he have at the front door? He's got a Stalker, but that's not going to last very long. The Warp Gate technology will be done soon, but I don't think it's going to be done soon enough. And these, these gateways will be done, but without the Warp Gate technology, he's not going to be able to get anything out in time to stop this attack. If Spartan picks to attack now, he's losing his window. Oh, and here he comes. This could be very interesting. Oh, and the, the attack has begun. This one stalker doesn't have a chance. He's got to get out of there. But he, right now, he's just going to be stalling for time. And no, don't focus down the gateway. you got to focus down the stalker first. Focus down the stalker. Focus down the stalker. You're dying. Focus down the stalker. What is he fo Now he's focusing down the pylon. Kill the stalker. Okay, now kill the pylon. It looks like he's rallying more marines to the cause. But that pylon is done, so now he's just down two gateways. And warp gate technology was five seconds from completion. Oh, that is going to be huge. Five seconds away from completion. And if he takes out this pylon, I think that's pretty much it. No, he does. He'll, he'll have this pylon still powering this gateway. And here come the probes to defend. I think he may have enough. Oh, this is going to be close. Is he going to get that pylon? No, he's going to focus down. Oh, I don't know if he should go for the probes or the pylon, but he is going to hold... Oh, there is one Marine left. Oh, how this 32 hit points surviving on that pylon. So that was, that was really, really dangerous. And I think for now he's held. But here comes some more Marines. Oh, watch out, Stalkers. Watch out, Stalkers. And he's got to get that Warp Gate technology finished. I think he's going to be able to hold off long enough to get it finished. But, he, oh, he's going to lose these Stalkers. Oh, that Stalkers, oh, that Stalkers goes down. And, wait a minute, this pylon, what happened to the pylon? Oh, wait, he doesn't have anything powering this. Didn't he, didn't he put a pylon down there? He's five seconds away from work gate technology, and this pylon is going to be dead in a second. Soon this gateway is going to be history. Wait, is this one dead too? Oh, no, this, yeah, this gateway, this one's still running. If he gets this pylon down, oh, this is, this is insane. But look at all this money that he's building up. Well, they're both building up a lot of money, but I think Contrarian's a little bit distracted because he was expecting to produce units, and he's not. And that will hold, but I think there's another wave of Marines coming. There is another wave of Marines. And he's got, he's got to get this Warp Gate technology finished. If he has to keep building these units from scratch, he's never going to do it. But it looks like Spartan's not going to make it up into the base this time. So I think this will be the end of the attack. I think Spartan might be best to regroup and, and uh, use the advantage that he has right now. Which, what has he been doing in his base? He's just been, he's just pumping out Marines, which no add-ons, no expansion, which is, Contrarian still has the stalker here. As soon as he gets his warp gate technology up, he's gonna, yeah, warp gate's still not researching. Oh, no, he did finally get warp gate finished. Finally got warp gate finished, now you gotta get these into warp gates. Oh, well, no, they're producing units right now, and oh, this gateway could go down. I don't think these zealots are gonna be able to kill in time if he decides to focus it down. Oh, well, he's gonna kill off the zealots first. And what is he? Is he going to chase down? No, yeah, take out the gateway. He's going to try to get into warp gates. Oh, this is just... this is. I just don't know what's going to happen here. This is just this is just insane. But I think Contrarian is slowly getting a foothold back on his base. He's finally getting his, his buildings powered again. He got his warp gate technology finished. He needs to turn that into a warp gate right now. He really needs to get that into a warp gate right now. Since he's not producing anything, he really needs to get that into a warp gate right now. What is this? This Zell is just sitting here, not training. Oh, and he's, he's got 100 minerals tied up there, but he's yeah, he's got quite a bit of minerals stored up. He should be warping in some Zealots, and what happened to his units? He's sending his Zealot out, and here comes the next wave of Marines, and he doesn't have his warp gates finished yet. He's got one warp gate, and as soon as he's going to get one, he's going to get one down, and now that one's unpowered this into a warp gate so I didn't expect this much uh, this much action so early in game one although it's really I'm really not sure which way it's going yet uh, contrarian is just holding but he's also not really 
I mean, he's not really getting a chance to macro, but now he's going to finally get this gateway out. And I think he is going to clean up these Marines. And I really think... Uh, oh, <laughs> Spartan sent these Marines forward. You could take out those two Zealots really quick, but he's not going to do that. And now we need to get this to a gateway. So he's trying to reestablish his base. Still building up a ton of money. And what do we have here for... We are finally getting some add-ons. We're getting a reactor. So it looks like Spartan's just going to go for more Marines, which he really needs to take do a tech switch now. Because if Contrarian can get up enough Stalkers, those Marines aren't really going to do that much. No, that poor, poor probe's going to die now. Oh, but Spartan is building an expansion. He does not know about this pylon yet. And I wonder if that Stalker went down. Yeah, and those Marines will get cleaned up. If we check the units lost right now. It's pretty even. So this just may be a wash right now. Although Spartan is getting an expansion up. And if he can take advantage of that, he'll be sitting pretty. And it looks like uh, Contrarian is getting a forge out. Oh, he will be expanding as well, but Spartan's going to be ahead of him. His command center is about halfway done. And what kind of saturation does he got here? He, well, he could be getting some guys into gas. I don't know why he's not using his, not mining his gas. He's just, he seems to have enough SCVs just for the minerals, but. And here comes another marine force. He doesn't have any upgrades yet, but he has no tech labs, and he has no engineering. Oh, he did finally get a tech lab. Is he doing any research out of it? He's not researching anything yet. Finally getting out of Marauder, the first Marauder of the game. And we got a small force moving out here for Contrarian. Not the biggest force, but if he if he's careful and doesn't reveal him, and yeah, he's gonna reinforce down here, this could be devastating. Getting out getting out some uh sentries. Oh careful, don't reveal the sentries, and those will be good for the guardian shield. If well as soon as he has the energy form. I don't know if it'll be as good for the force fields at this point, but maybe. And where are you, Spartan? Where are your units going? Your your expansion is dying, Spartan. Whoa, what is this sentry doing? It's just kind of spinning on his globe. And this will reveal the... Well, maybe not reveal the pylon, because Spartan is not going to pursue him. He's just going to let his expansion get attacked again. And yeah, he's going to have to abandon that. And now it looks like he's going to make a push with his own Marines. Do we have any defense here for Contrarian? Just a stalker. That's not going to last very long, but the excitement's down here. Here goes the Guardian. Oh, put up the Guardian Shield, and the Sentry dies instantly. And he's going to get another Guardian Shield, but that Sentry's about to go down as well. But I think he will clean this up. And what does Spartan have in his base? What is he producing? He's producing five Marines and a Marauder. And he's about to lose his command center. Get an SCV out here to repair it. Hurry, repair it. Get someone out here to repair it. And he's got no units coming out right now. Looks like he will. He should be able to. Uh, he should be able to get up enough to defend if he micros them correctly. But he's just kind of just throwing in the meat grinder. But I think he will clean this up. And oh, it looks like we missed the expansion dying here. But I think we kind of expected that was going to happen because, like I said, he had only one stalker defending it. And now it looks like these stalkers are coming there to def to to help with the uh, help with the fight. Oh, and he's got to be careful. He's going to lose these stalkers. Oh. Uh, he really could use some force fields. Oh, get those sentries back. Pull the sentries back. Pull the sentries back. Oh, double guardian shield. He probably didn't need that, especially since he was cleaning it up. So this has been quite a back and forth game, I must say. And now what are we bolstering here? He could almost use a... Well, I guess he doesn't really need a bunker in this SCV. He's still trying to repair the command center. <laughs> There's still a stalker here waiting for it. This command center is going to be mighty surprised. Especially since that SUV can't get out to... Oh, nope, the SUV did get out to repair it. But nope, there's the stalker. Oh, and here come the reinforcement stalkers. I think he's going to lose it this time. I don't think he can fly it back in time. This SUV's not going to repair it fast enough. And he's trying to get it out there. Oh, here comes a pretty sizable force. I'm not really sure who's got the advantage with this force right now. Uh, and it looks like the Contrarian is not trying to get his expansion back up. Oh, I think he's got to get these units out of there. He's going to try to escape. And I think, uh, I don't know, Spartan, you might want to pull back for now. Oh, and he gets a poor stalker. And that guy was moving pretty slow. Did he get the Marauder slow? He did get the slow. He's getting combat shields now. He's not doing anything with this. You might as well throw a tech lab down on that, although he's low on gas, really low on gas. And he really he really needs to start taking them, at least taking a second geyser right now. 
So is he going to try to take the expansion into dead? Looks like he did save the expansion. He needs to be making some SCVs now. He needs to be making some SCVs right now. He needs to be make, make, making SCVs out of both these and using his mules. Dump some mules down here, really, seriously. Although he does have quite a bit of minerals, but I bet he could use those up pretty quick. And now we're getting an armor upgrade. Oh, it looks like Spartans are going to try to attack again. And just a small stalker force. They do have the plus one attack. And there are no attacks for Spartan, or no upgrades for Spartan, because he does not have an engineering bay. And we have Guardian Shield. We need to get the Guardian Shield up, or he's going to lose his force a lot faster. Here's the Guardian Shield. He doesn't have enough energy for the Guardian Shield. Force field. Force field the ramp. Force field the ramp. Force field the ramp. Hurry, <laughs> force field the ramp. I guess he didn't need to force field it, but he is going to lose his expansion yet again. Oh, and he's going to send this probe to die, and I'm not really sure what that force field was for. Just kind of to be annoying, I guess. Didn't really, didn't really stop anyone from going where they wanted to, but maybe it looks like he might be able to save this expansion. Does he have enough for a guardian shield? Nah, that, that is such he has no energy. Oh, that's actually pretty close. Two marines left, and he's going to, he's going to defend that. So wow, a lot of back and forth going on here. But look, Spartans got the got the lead right now with 51 to 40 food, and we check the units. Though contrarian, and most of that of contrarian, like half of contrarian's food is in probes, so he'll have a lot of money, but he just does not have the army right now. And he's thundering outside. Yeah, it's thundering in this game because it's just so epic. Looks like both sides are rather content to just uh, mac right now. Contrarian's not doing anything right now with his money. Throwing down a throwing down a photon cannon. I don't know, what kind of saturation does he got here? Eh, he definitely needs better saturation on that. Although he's been mining that for so long, maybe he doesn't necessarily need it fully saturated. Could use some more probes down here as well. And oh, we got another force moving out for Spartan, who's just going for blind aggression. And this marine's gonna say, oh, don't worry guys, I'll check the side of the rock. Yep, that's clear. Let's uh, keep moving out. And this is a big force. I don't know if he's got enough to defend this. Pull back to the cannons. You gotta pull back to the cannons. You need every there you go. Pull back to the cannons. And now he's got two cannons. Now you engage. And he's gonna try to take out the cannons. Yeah, he is gonna take out the cannons. Guardian shield goes now. Double guardian shield, but the first sentry just dies quickly. Oh boy, and I don't know if he's got enough here. This is getting pretty hairy. Yeah, I think he needs to get some more zealots out there. Oh, but he is in big trouble now, and he does he needs more gateways, I think. I don't think he has the gateways for two base. He certainly has enough gateways for this, but looks like he may lose his expansion again. He might have to pull his probes off. Oh, don't send the stalker into the slaughter. You need to you need to build your army and your base and this expansion may be done. Unless you want to pull your probes to help defend, I think this expansion is done. And it looks like Spartan does have his expansion up, his expansion up. Starting to mine it, building a new force. I guess with the, all the action going on in here, and Contrarian is just trying to whittle this down with one stalker at a time. Oh, he's going to try to pull back. He really is how much he's got a ton of energy. He really needs to be spending that on his warp gates because he needs to get an army up as quickly as he can. And this zealot's kind of getting lost out there. Bring in the probe. You gotta bring in the probes to attack. You really need the probes to attack right now. There you go. But they probably would have done a lot better if they had, <laughs> had some army support. It looks like he'll clean up the marines. I don't know if he'll quite clean up the marauders. I actually I think he might do it. He might do it. Oh, get the zealot in there. Went the zealot attacking, not the probes. Whew, so he did defend that, but here comes the next force. And Contrarian, you gotta use your energy on your warp gauge. You need an army now. He just keeps throwing units at you, and oh, he's got a dark shrine now. And, I mean, Spartan can do some scans, but oh, he's almost mined out of that base. But then again, so is Contrarian. So Contrarian really needs to hold this expansion this time, but I don't know if he's gonna have the time to do it. And I don't think he's got the money to support the Dark Templars right now. Looking pretty bad for Contrarian. It looks like this blind. Oh, and he's gonna send the probe to the slaughter. Oh, and they he tried to get the DT out, but the pylon goes down and cancels it. He's gonna warp in two into his base. And here it comes, and they're gonna actually kind of block the ramp. Oh no, I guess they're not gonna block the ramp. And then oh, Spartan's gotta get a scan down. He 
really needs to get a scan down or he's going to lose his entire army really quick. But he's going to do a lot of damage in the meantime. And there's the scan and there go the DTs. And I think this might be it. And the scan's not quite... Oh, and there's the... Yeah, there's another scan and I think this is it. He's just gonna try to zealot now, but if they focus down that zealot, he's not gonna last very long. And yeah, I would just go for the pylon. That's the last, it's the last pylon. You take this out. <laughs> and apparently, Contrarian thinks that was a very long game. Well, I hope you enjoyed game one, because I'm pretty sure this is over now. This one is gonna go to Spartan. So he will be up 1-0 in the series. And remember, this is a best of three, but Contrarian gets to pick the map for game two. So we were just waiting for the GG. And there's the GG. So I hope you enjoyed game one of the 3 West Classic. And have a day.